Hello, Jim. Can you believe it is tax time already? Hello, Susan. No, the year has really flown by. Are you okay? Oh, Jim, I am just beside myself. I don't know what I am going to do. Why? What's wrong, Susan? Today, while I was waiting to meet my friends for lunch, I read a very disturbing research study in the Women's Research Weekly that stated all people who are left-handed should be artists. I can't be an artist. I'm an accountant. That's silly, Susan. I don't think there is nothing wrong with being a left-handed accountant. The study stated that if left-handed people choose a different career than being an artist, then that person is doomed for failure. I don't want to fail, Jim. Susan, that is just ridiculous. I have never heard of such a thing. How can they be certain? But they said they were 95% confident of their results. Let me see that. I see, I see. Do you know what a confidence interval is? No. I don't think so. I may have studied that back in statistics class. A confidence interval attempts to make a statement about a population using information from a sample. It is a range of plausible values not an absolute value. A confidence interval addresses how well the sample statistic estimates the underlying population value because it provides a range of values which is likely to contain the population parameter of interest. Researchers are able to estimate the population parameter by using sample data to create an interval that has a certain probability of including the population parameter. This study states that of the 80 left-handed people sampled they determined through personality testing that 10 people were best suited as artists. The 95% confidence interval however, ranged from minus 1 to 12. See, that means they are 95% confident that 8% of the world's left-handed people should be artists. What if I am one of those 8%? I will have to change jobs and run off to an artist colony and learn how to paint with watercolors. No. No. Just calm down. Not so fast. All the 95% confidence interval implies is that, if they took multiple samples of 80 left-handed people, the researchers are confident that their results will identify the proportion of the population of left-handed people who should be artists. And that interval will fall between minus 1 and 12, 95% of the time. Okay, I think I am starting to understand. One other point to look at is that the interval the researchers came up with contains the number zero. When an interval contains the number zero, that can imply no change or no effect at all. I am so relieved. I was not cut out to be an artist. I am glad too. I was trying to think who I was going to get to do my taxes since my accountant was planning to run off and play with watercolors for a living. Jim, thank you for explaining what a confidence interval is. I understand the concept much clearer now. Next time I read a research study from Women's Research Weekly, I will not be as apt to jump to conclusions. You're so very welcome, Susan. I was glad to help. I typically don't get the chance to talk about statistics since I am a doctor. I don't usually tell anyone, but I secretly have a passion of statistics. I'll have to remember that the next time I have a question about statistics. Jim... I will call you as soon as I get your taxes done. Thank you. Have a great day, Susan. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jim. Have a great day also.